In this video you will learn about solid angle and its unit steradian. First we define solid angle. We take a spherical object like watermelon. Now we take a circular surface like this. The angle subtended by this surface at the center of the spherical object is called solid angle. So we can define solid angle as a angle subtended by a surface at the center of a sphere is called a solid angle. Now we discuss examples of a solid angle. Light emitting from a torch is in the form of a solid angle. Some of vegetables like carrot is found in the form of a solid angle. A birdie cape is found in the form of a solid angle. A falling water from certain height is found in the form of a, a solid angle. Similarly, a fluid coming out from a syringe is in the form of a solid angle. There are a lot of examples of solid angle in our daily life. Now we discuss unit of a solid angle. The unit of solid angle is steradian. First we define how much is one steradian solid angle. The angle subtended by a surface is one steradian. If its area is equal to the square of the radius of a spherical surface is called one steradian. Now according to this definition we take a circular surface on this spherical object. The angle subtended by this circular surface at the center of this spherical object will be one steradian. If the area of this surface is equal to the square of the radius of this spherical object, then the angle subtended by this circular surface will be one steradian. Now we see a solid angle of one steradian practically. This is a watermelon. First we find the radius of watermelon. Then we take a circular surface on this spherical object. If the area of this surface is equal to the square of the radius of this spherical object, then the angle subtended by this surface at the center of this spherical object is one steradian. And this way we can get a cone of one steradian practically. Now we are going to discuss how we can get one steradian mathematically. For solid angle theta equals area or radius square. If we put area equals radius square in this equation we get theta equals one steradian. Now using this relation you have to find how many steradians are there in a complete sphere. Mean if you get a cone of one steradian then a second cone of one steradian then a third cone of one steradian and so on. Then how many cone each of one steradian you will get in a complete sphere. In other words how many cones each of one steradian are there in a complete sphere? You have to write your answer in comment.